hello all so in this video i would like to show you some uh, elis so elis is actually used to extend the functionality of uh, our editor emacs so it's fairly easy to learn so without wasting much of our time let's begin so you can do this in two ways either you can like open up a new file with dot el extension which stands for emacs lisp or you have this built-in read evaluate print loop or also known as repl called ieml so if i do an ie sorry ielm so it interactively evaluates emacs lisp expression so control x control plus to increase the font size so if i type some random numbers or uh, something like 23 over here you can see it prints out 23 with uh, uh, octal values hexadecimals and uh, character representation and if i do something like hello world going to like print that out so this is like uh, similar to every other programming language so if you do like uh, strings it will print out that string and if you do some numbers or like floats it's going to print that out back so what this does is it reads evaluates and prints and it will ask you again to give it the next instruction so let's start by adding something so plus of two and three if you do that it's going to give you five so in emacs this is uh, like everything is a symbolic expression so you don't do something like two plus two if you do that it's going to give you an error because you say like invalid function two because elisp is like it takes the first thing in this brackets as the function and first will be the operation and the second and th the other one will be the operands so like the function that is addition for this case five and six so you get the output so similarly you can do subtraction so get that you have like uh, multiplication and you have like uh, division modulus if you want it's going to give you that so these are like the basic math stuff besides this you can define variables inside emacs so you define a variable with set queue so set q followed by the variable name so a for example or like uh, uh, my name so here we don't use like camel case snake case or something like that we just use dashes to separate the variable name and uh, the value of the variable so if you are using a string you put it inside double quotes so emacs and if you close that it's going to create a variable my name so it will print out just emacs but if you type my dash name it's going to give you the value of the variable then besides this like besides doing this you can also do nested operations i forgot to tell you that so plus two and if i do something like plus five and three some stuff like that it's going to perform operation on that so five plus three and two so it gives you ten define a function for example so this is like how you define a variable so for example if we need like two variables a and b so they will be having values like 10 and 11 and we are going to define a function to add that instead of doing this plus a and b 
so you can also do that but uh, like let's create a function that's define function so def un that's a keyword you use to define a function and you specify the function name so add dash numbers or uh, hmm, something that you like add a no or something and if it takes parameters you specify the parameters inside this so a and b for example then give a space and you define what the function does so plus of a and b so this is a simple function to add a and b so if i hit enter it's created a function add dash number if i do something like add dash no followed by 10 and 11 it's going to give us the output of that so that's how you define a custom function then we have options like uh, we can print out stuff so we can define new function called uh, define function and we are going to name it as like uh, the rating for example it takes no arguments and a space and we can specify like insert so what this does is it will insert a string which we specifies after that keyword so insert hello and a space and you can define like you can specify the variable over there so let's do like uh, name dash new for example so that's going to be our variable and hello after that we need the name to be like printed out so hello and a space and name dash new and if we close that statement and if we hit enter it have already created this function greeting which takes an argument name dash new so if we do like uh, a bracket and uh, greeting space inside a string new and if we close that out it's going to return like hello new for example so besides this you have options for like uh, defining uh, stuff like new line or you can even format stuff so the basic idea of formatting is like you can do format and uh, you can specify what you need to format like uh, for example let's use hello and uh, we are going to give some dumb name for this so hello here after this we need the string to be presented so percentage s for string and we need a new line after printing out the string so slash n and we can close that out and after this we are going to specify what the string is so we can open up another double quotes and uh, like uh, sting something like this and if you close that out it's going to print out hello sting so you can see you can like do basic formatting inside emacs so if you want you can mix and match all these stuff so the next thing is you can actually read input so in this one i'm going to show you how you can read input from your mini buffer that is this region over here so right now we need to like uh, make emacs ask you some questions so that you can give it uh, some input which it stores in a variable so the basic idea is you use uh, something like uh, read from dash mini buffer 
and inside double quotes you specify what it needs to ask so for example age maybe what is your age so if you do that you can see over here in the mini buffer it's asking me what's your age so since i haven't given a space over here it's going to place the cursor directly next to that e in the age so we can enter something like 56 and it's just going to print that out but this is not particularly useful so if we need to store that in some variable you can mix this so set q and we are going to define a variable so use a dash age for example so that will be our variable name inside another bracket we can use read dash from dash mini buffer and you can make it ask like uh, enter your age and space you can do stuff like this so it will be like a little bit fancier and if you close that out it's going to ask me like enter your age in the mini buffer section so 56 over here and it just prints out 56 but if we do uh, like uh, user dash age you can see it's printing 56 so that's a nice way of uh, getting inputs and storing it into a variable inside emacs then there is this concept of list so list is actually a list of uh, data so you can do you can define a list with a single quote and you can enter the values inside this bracket so one two and three for example so this is a list so if you wanna like uh, specify a name to this list as a variable in a similar fashion you do set q and you specify the list name so my dash list for example or you can do like uh, name dash list and you can specify your list names like list inside this so for example we can do like uh, adam and apple and ave some stuff like that so what this does is this will create a list so if i do like name dash list it's going to give me the output of this so there are like uh, two ways of adding new stuff to this list so we have this name list consists of these three names so if i need to add something over there i can do something like uh, add to list and i can specify the list name so for example name dash list that is our list name and we need to add some string to that so rio for example if we close that out you can see rio has been added so this is like permanent change so if i do name dash list you can see rio is there but instead if you need to add something temporarily you can use construct so construct is a predefined function so use that with cons keyword and you can add a new list so something like uh, emacs why not then we can like uh, specify that to our list name so name dash list we do that this is this have added this emacs to this list but if we do a name dash list you can see it's temporary 
so if you need to add something permanently there is another way of doing this so you do that with the push so push is actually really nice you can use push and space and specify the string or uh, the variable or value you need to add and you just enter the value so you can use emacs for this and if i need to add emacs over there i just need to specify the list name so name dash list i close that out statement it's permanently added emacs to this name list so if i type name dash list again you can see emacs is there then if you need to grab something from this you have like uh, nth so in a list everything is represented with uh, like this is the zeroth value this is the first one second one third one fourth one so everything starts from zero so if i need to get the first value i need to use uh, nth that is the nth and zero so this is the zero position so i specify the position and space and i need to specify the name of the list so name dash list so what this does is this will print out the zeroth value that is emacs for here so similarly if you need to do like nth one and name dash list it's going to print out the first one so you can like uh, grab uh, the required information from a list like that emacs have some built-in functions so if you need to open up a new buffer for example what you do is switch uh, switch to buffer or you have switched to other frame buffer other tab and buffer other window for example if we do switch to buffer other window we can even specify a name for that so we do double quotes a star and a name so let's for example new buffer a star double quotes and if we close this statement this is going to open up a new buffer so this is a new buffer as other window over here so you can see the cursor is blinking over here so if i need to go back i need to hit ctrl x o and if i need to close the other one just ctrl x one just minimized so that is one way of doing stuff and if you need to come back to this after creating that new buffer you can do switch to buffer the window and uh, you can like program this stuff so let's use uh, multiple expressions at the same time so progen for that progen lets you combine several expressions together so progen so you can actually define it in the same line so switch dash other window and can specify a name for that hello for example this is going to be our new buffer and i can close this statement come down over here so if i hit return it will actually emacs will place the indentation right so you don't need to worry about that and i can make it a clean buffer if i want so for that i can do erase dash buffer so these are like some arguments you can use with uh, your stuff if you don't need to erase that you just uh, remove that then if you need like to come back after opening this buffer you can specify other window one so other dash window and one and let's close that program statement so if i hit enter over here you can see the cursor is blinking over here presently not here so i hope this video was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day so if you like to see more of elisp 
or Emacs Lisp content, just let me know in the comment section.